In the U.S., more than 1,700 people are reported missing each day, both children and adults. The good news, most of them, about 70% are found or returned within a few days. In 2020, police agencies logged more than 543,000 cases of missing people, 480,000 were canceled or cleared. But thousands never returned home. Found in the Illinois River on September 4th was the missing graduate student. Many people falsely believe we have to wait 24 to 48 hours to report someone missing. But investigators say the sooner someone is reported missing, the higher chances they will be found. That's because the first 48 to 72 hours in a missing person's case are the most crucial. Here's why. The person could be in danger or may be on the move to a new location. For those who may be more vulnerable, like people with mental illness, police want to alert the public for help. Regardless of any situation, if, you're, if your 15-year-old is missing, you're going to be upset and you're going to be wanting everybody to be on the lookout. For kids, there's the Amber Alert, named for nine-year-old Amber Hagerman, kidnapped while riding her bike in Arlington, Texas. The alert system in her name was created in 1996. Today, law enforcement agencies may issue an alert if the person is younger than 17 and they are believed to be abducted or in great danger. Hey, here she is. Got her, we got her, we got her. Come on, sweetheart. You're okay? Got you. You're gonna be okay. Amber alerts aren't issued for kids who run away from home. Law enforcement doesn't want to desensitize the public by issuing too many alerts. Not all missing persons cases are criminal. Some people leave voluntarily. Mental illness, depression, abusive relationships or fights, and financial problems could all be reasons why someone disappears on their own. The longer a person remains missing, the greater the opportunity for important clues to disappear. When someone goes missing, law enforcement needs to focus on learning about the person's routine. They may look for foul play. They focus on finding out who last had contact with the missing person, including their latest conversations and the person's state of mind. She would always call. We would always be in contact with one another. But I hadn't heard from her by uh, Sunday, so I started to get, you know, a little bit nervous not having heard from her at all the whole entire weekend. Investigators will look for significant items belonging to the missing person, like house or car keys, a cell phone, purse or wallet. If the items were left behind, it might indicate the situation was unplanned or sudden. You see these things in the TVs and the movies, um, but you wouldn't think it hit close to home. For adults, one of the things most looked at is finances. Investigators try to see if the missing person's money is untouched, meaning have they withdrawn large amounts of cash? Have they used their credit cards? They'll also see if they've left behind critical personal records, like a birth certificate or social security card. If the items aren't missing, this may show the individual didn't go away voluntarily. I want to show you where Kaya's car was found. In the first 48 hours of someone reported missing, investigators also rushed to gather electronic information. Social media postings, web searches, cell phone data, and video or audio recordings from the area. Capturing details of their home life or asking friends and family about their interactions may help. In some cases, the investigating agency will ask other agencies to help in their search. We have investigators working diligently around the clock as well as with the FBI. It might even ask for help from the community. We're still asking the public, please help us bring my sister home. Media coverage can also make a difference. However, of the thousands of Americans that go missing each year, only a fraction gain widespread attention. I would like to thank everybody for their help. And I would like to appreciate a lot if um, you all could bring my kids home. According to a National Missing and Unidentified Persons Systems study, missing women receive nearly 12 times more media coverage than men. White missing people receive nearly three times more than minorities. Jamal Andrus, Newsy.